Let's get it. All right. Let's get another episode in. Let's go. Um, I don't even know. Well, okay, my sentiment today, man. Um, I want to say I hope y'all are having a good day. Um, and also a a life lesson I learned years ago. I'm mean, only really noticed it just now, but okay. Let's just say you're a single dude at this point in your life. You're single. This girl, right? As as we say, right? Don't be afraid to reject them. I, most girls don't take this. I don't take that very well, especially if if you do that, you you have. You have the right energy to, you know, gain, right? Because most aren't used to it, right? If you friends own a woman, it's it's imperative, right? I say, right? Have female friends. If you don't, establish those first because they're going after you, right? Think about this. A girl, right? Do the exact same thing that they do to us, right? You line them up. Say, which one's your favorite one? Bam. Give that one a chance. You can continue collecting, getting all your collectibles in the middle of this relationship, right? You have a problem with that? You can leave. Right? Don't be afraid to reject people and say, I need time. Or just because they, they can't say, they can't say anything. They really can't. I feel like some guys have to learn. Some guys, I mean, all guys have to learn this, right? Because this is not a trait we we have, you know? Right? Yes, we're thinkers. But, but women are not logical thinkers, right? That's not a logical thing to do. Right? Working it out and not having to look through 10 guys' profiles on Tinder... Every five minutes is not a logical thing to do. You'd rather have one go through it, two go through it. Guys, think logically. Logically, it would be easier. You don't have to look over your shoulder. You don't have to hide your phone. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. They have to do that. They they step out of their way to be that person, right? They go out of their way to hide their phone here, or whenever you're around them, put down your put down their phone, put it in their lap, and pay, act like they're paying attention. Do that little body twist. Um, ooh, to hide their phone. That's how they are. I'm not saying be exactly like them, right? But it's all right to take take good things out of their game. Having backups, right, as a great part of that their game, right? They don't. Ha- they also, you know, they have emotional support. Guess what, right? You you throw all your baggage onto this girl, right? She's the girl best friend. She has no weight. She, like, she has no weight to you. You have multiple. 
That's like having multiple chargers. You lose one. Okay, I got more. One breaks. Oh, okay, I have more. Think about that. You may have an emotional attach attachment to that, that, but it's gonna wear away. It's gonna wear away. One to two days crying, max. But guess what? It's not like a girlfriend where you're putting hours and hours into it. No, all you had to do was say no. Think about that. All you had to do is say no. Show them that you're trying to play hard to get. Show them that you have, you you, you know you you're not into them a little bit. I mean, they go stir crazy. I want I want to say this because I wish I learned this. I wish I learned this now. You know, I was young and getting played. I I don't think I was ever texting two girls at once, and I wasn't even dating him yet. Doesn't make sense. Girl, girl, best friends keep your girl in check. Your girl puts them in check. They put each other in check. Right. And then you have emotional support where you can throw all your groceries in that basket. If they reject them, bam, you know they're not relationship worthy. It's so easy to do that. You, they, they have to meet all the criteria to get out, be your favorite, right? Think about that. They have to meet all the criteria to be your favorite. Then they're your favorite, right? So they have to do certain things to become your girl, right? They have to be okay with the girl best friend thing, right? Bam, they're your girl now, right? All right, everything can be going cool in paradise as long as you're not, you know, feeling up and getting with girls best friends. Be nonchalant, spend time with that person. Your girl, right? That and that's that's gonna be how life goes. You, right? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be emotionally available to your girl, right? Because you have other people to be emotionally emotionally available. That that'll be emotionally available for you, right? You're still open. Still be open with your girl. Don't tell her anything, like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because they they have no emotional, like, the girl's best friends. The reason why they're not your favorite is because they don't have emotion. You guys don't have emotional attachment. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's going to be, that's going to be your goal, right? And, yeah, you can dump all your be- girl best friends. Most likely you have some attachment to them as friends. And by by the time you have a serious relationship, it'll be months. You know, it'll be months. Some will knock themselves out of the race. You don't have to go find any new other ones. Right? Like I said, keep your roster like four to five. I'm not telling you guys to... To go get 10. That that sounds retarded. Keep you. 3 to 4 actually. That's that's best. 3 to 4. You don't have to hang out with them. Be on a call to call basis. Text to text basis. Get too flirty. Out. Too flirty. These are not. Screw and dumps. You know why? Because that goes. Really badly. That goes really badly in that case where you're caught doing something stupid. Not when you have a girl, you're single. But if they find like find out or as far as that, right? Girls best friends are not hookups because they feel they're gonna feel that emotional attach- attachment. 
and you're you know you're gonna start to like them right you don't want to start to like them too much i don't know i don't know this was a little personal video for me man i don't know why um but i don't know i'll update you guys on this story something like that you know this podcast is supposed to be like fun and all that you know just sharing little sorts and bits of advice that i would give younger me uh, same age me older me uh older me uh, older me might might be playboy by then i don't know <laughs> but i the end of this one i don't know how long we we want to have some of these go Remember last week, I think, nine minutes, something like that. But it's working out, I I, I guess. But I love you guys. Um, I know you guys are like, what is he eating? Um, just some food. Um, but yeah, I was working all weekend, so couldn't make any videos. So that was rough. But I think we're back on the grind all week. At least I think so. I think I do have some friends coming in town. So that will be fun. But I'm in the process of moving, so it's a whole nother thing. Now that I'm seeing most of the people in my town. People I hang out with on daily now, I have to fly to me. It's a bunch of cheese so I'm trying to get my last goodbyes especially like family that's down so I mean not in my town but I you know an hour away go see them you guys know the vibes um that's been it see you guys later